We're learning new details also tonight about the man who killed the bailiffs and wounded two others. Larry Gordon was on his way to court to face felony charges. WSBT 22's Caitlin Conan is live outside the Berrien County Courthouse right now. And Caitlin, we're also learning that Gordon had a daughter. Yes, and Gordon's ex-wife is saying that daughter was probably the motivation behind his rampage yesterday. Jessica Gordon says his, her ex-husband is not a bad person. He just wanted to get back to his daughter, but Larry Gordon has a long record that may lead people to think otherwise. During his transport in between the, the courthouse, I mean the, the courtroom and the holding cell, a fight broke out with our deputy and he was able to remove his weapon. Larry Gordon, while still handcuffed, used that deputy's gun to shoot and kill bailiffs Joe Zagaro and Ronald Kinzel. He also injured a sheriff's deputy, James Atterbury, and civilian Kenya Ellis. I'll keep those families in my prayers, but I ask that they also realize we're grieving too. We lost a husband, a best friend, a father, a son, Brother. This was not Gordon's first time through the court system. His arrest record stretches back to 1992 when he was taken in for felony unarmed robbery. He's faced a wide array of charges from manufacture of meth to more violent crimes like kidnapping, strangulation, and assault with a deadly weapon. We were familiar with him. This time around, Gordon was facing charges of criminal sexual conduct and domestic violence. One of those charges stemmed from an incident involving Jessica Gordon but Sheriff Bailey says he'd never been a problem while in custody. He's not been combative. He's always been cooperative the entire time he was here. I truly believe that Larry wasn't trying to hurt anyone. He was scared himself and just wanted to see his daughter. Gordon had been in jail since April when officers came to arrest him. Then he ran from those officers and hid in the neighborhood. Canine units had to come out to help sniff Gordon out.